Guys, please, this cost also includes the aluminum. That is the window, the glass window that has been fixed in the building. Welcome to Fina Max channel. Let's go on. Hi guys, good morning. Please guys, I'm so sorry if this video is going to be like this. I am all... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This is what we'll be seeing though. Because I'm driving. I'm driving and um, I'm on my way from church. I went for morning mass. And if I get home now, I won't have much time to make this video. And I have a lot of requests, a lot from you guys, a lot. So I need to, and my brother who needs this video, is seriously in need of it. So I just have to do this, please pardon, the, pardon me for this video because I know you will not enjoy it. Uh -huh. so today we are here to discuss about um, the cost of oh shit. this is what I'll be going through guys sorry I, <laughs> the phone is seriously shaking so let me just do it like this mm, you mustn't see my face anyway so today we are discussing about an estimate cost of a four bedroom bungalow in Aba Abia State with all its suits in Aba. The price I'm using for this video is Aba price. Please take note. It's Aba price I'm using for this video. And we are starting when we are, I, I say the cost of it's from foundation to roofing. That's what we are looking at here. Four bedroom bungalow, guys. From foundation to roofing. I have like three or more persons requesting for this video. Even a sister from Cameroon also requested for this video. Sister, I hope you will be able to get what you want. From this one and if you are not satisfied still let me know so that I can get to know the exact thing you need starting from foundation guys please for the noise I am driving I said it earlier start to the foundation firstly when starting foundation in Nigeria I don't know if it's so everywhere but I believe it should be the revenue people will come revenue will come you will pay for revenue so just have that in mind that you are going to pay for revenue or money level no or money level come <laughs> so that is what they call it in yoruba land or money level. so foundation we should be looking at anything for digging of foundation you should be looking at anything from 30 to sixty thousand actually i calculated 50 here because it depends on the area there are some places you can even dig foundation with twenty thousand naira there are some places you cannot even dig with 60. you have to be like um 80 and above you know so it depends on areas secondly we'll be using 600 pieces of block for from foundation to DPC level. From foundation to DPC level, we should be looking at 600 and above blocks to bring it up, depending on how deep the depth of the DPC. And you'll be needing some bags of cement. You'll be needing like uh, 15 to 25 bags of cement for foundation just for foundation dpc not included actually i calculated 200 bags of cement for the whole thing from foundation to dpc from dpc to uh, putting up blocks erecting of blocks a building uh to parapet uh -huh. and they equally to plastering 
so you should be looking all these are added up and you should be looking at 200 to 250 cement bags of cement okay that is what you should be looking at for this building though i calculated 200 bags but you can be up to this is just a rough estimate then um granite granite you should be looking at in this stage as to, um for for the whole building you should be looking at 45 tons at this stage you might be asked to buy 30 tons this will carry you to to casting of pillars you know this might take you from foundation to dpc casting of pillars and um, all that but with parapet this 30 tons might not be enough it might be enough depending on the size of the building you know and how large and everything you know that is why i keep saying depending on the size of the building but with this with this um size of building I, I doubt if 30 tons will be enough that is why i had to add extra 15 tons for parapet okay then um again we'll be needing so generally we'll be needing 45 tons please take note oh i am not mentioning the prices anymore blocks nine inches i said we'll be using nine inches blocks and the uh, blocks is sold at 200 naira in abia in abia state abba it is sold at 200 naira with delivery cement is sold at 3400 naira please take note 3400 naira white granite 30 tons is sold at 350,000 and the 15 tons is sold at 150,000 so all is totaling 500,000 for granite please 500,000 then sharp sand sharp sand you'll be needing sharp sand at the foundation level dpc because you use it for casting and then a parapet beam and pillars these are where you will be needing sharp sand as well and i calculated the total sharp sand of um, double load five tons of double load, um, five loads of double load that is like um 60 to 75 tons of of sand from beginning please take notes from beginning from beginning i am not just talking. and you know all those things depends on the size of the pillar you are using some people use just small pillar they will cast small pillar and some use times four of that pillar so all this is what you put into consideration when listening to an estimate like this. Please take note because those pillars also consume money a lot. Then water. I don't know your plans for water. If you are buying from tanker, just keep like 100,000 for water from the beginning of the building to the DPC level because water is something you must have enough excess of it because everything except roofing needs water so it's most essential in a site okay so that's why i keep advising you get source of water that is get a tank and the site that you can then go for borehole as well drill borehole as early as possible before starting anything so that you won't go about looking for water and remember if you don't have light in that area that you will use to pump the water you will also include generator and the fuel for that okay that you will use is still an expense so include it that you will use for the water Another thing is um, 
sorry guys another thing is um i don't know i know i'm driving uh -huh, sorry another thing is shocking sand sorry guys shocking sand shocking sand is the sand we use in putting up blocks together you need it after precasting of foundation you will need to put up some blocks that is one i say 600 pieces you need to put up some blocks to dpc level and after casting <coughs> sorry after casting dpc you will still need to erect your building with blocks so you need this shocking sand you'll be needing it like uh, four loads of double load so you'll be needing it um and it's sold okay sharp sand i didn't call the price of sharp sand sharp sand is sold at forty thousand per double load why this shocking sand is sold per um, Thirty-five thousand. We saw that thirty-five thousand per double load. Then you need lateral sand. This is the one you use for filling up the DPC, and it depends on the depth of your DPC because you might be needing up to twelve tons. You might not be needing. You might be needing more. So it depends. It depends. This one too. It used to consume money somehow. It depends. And it's sold at three thirty-five thousand per double tons. So I calculated twelve tons here, yeah? which which you know is a lot of money. Then rods, rods. Ah, I just hope people will enjoy this video because as I'm driving, seriously. I'm feeling somehow rods you will be needing 12 mm rod like two tons you'll be needing like two two tons of 12 mm um one ton of 16 mm i am talking about the whole building here one ton of 16 mm like 25 pieces of um what is it called what did I do? Sorry, one ton of 12 mm and two tons of 16 mm. I hope I'm not making a mistake here. Then, um, like 25 lengths of 8 mm and 15 lengths of 10 mm. You don't need much here. You know, what normally consume a lot of uh, rod is decking. And this one doesn't have decking. So, there will be no much rod to be used. Yeah, these are what you'll be needing for this. And the 12 mm is sold at 254,000. 12 mm is sold at 254,400. They are selling it per length, and the length is 4,800. Then, uh, sorry, oh. I said it. Let me pack. Bang, bang. Uh -huh. Let me pack and finish up this video. I don't want you people to get discouraged. I have 16 mm is sold at 4.8 per length. And um, um, 12 mm is sold at 2.7. And 10 mm is sold at 2,150 2, naira. <coughs> and 8 mm is sold at 1,000. 450 naira so multiply them by this quantity i gave you you will get their their totals remember you'll be needing binding wire and also you'll be needing some bundles of rings because three rings will be needed for pillars and also for beam so you need like um depending on how many pillars you are expecting and how big they are but let's just say like four bundles of rings will be needed and like uh, two bundles of binding wire will be needed as well then woodwork you need one by 12 planks like 150 like 115 pieces oh let me add up this this does not include parapet to 
this hundred and fifty. Let's just say two hundred pieces for everything. Two hundred pieces, and it's so that's one thousand five hundred naira. And then uh, you'll be needing two by three, two by three with roofing because it, it will be included in roofing too. With roofing, you should be needing like two hundred and um like 300 like 300 pieces then you'll be needing three inches nails as well you'll be needing like two bags that is from beginning to roofing level you'll be needing like um two bags then two and a half nail you'll be needing like one bag then four inches nail you'll be needing like five bags then five inches nail you'll be needing like one bag okay a jamba you'll be needing like you'll be needing a jamba like 25 length pieces okay I'll be 24 that is two dozen right and uh this two by three is sold at 700 naira why nails are sold at 9500 naira then blocks you'll be needing like four thousand pieces of blocks you might need more you might need less depending on the size of your building excuse me guys sorry guys so um blocks i've said it before nine inches is sold at 200 with delivery why six inches is sold at 180 and this four thousand is like eight hundred thousand naira it's a lot of money you know um then also you'll be needing plastering sand. You no, know, this building has been plastered, and I'm, I'm I was told to make a video from foundation to the way it is now, and it has been plastered, so I had to add it. Plastering sand is sold at thirty-eight thousand per double load per house. So you'll be needing like four of it. You no, know? then um. Also, you'll be needing quarter rod, quarter rod for the parapet, for the beam of parapet, of parapet. You'll be needing like just 30 length of quarter rod, okay? And you saw that, I think, 300, I'll be four, okay, 500 naira. You saw that 500 naira, that will be like 15,000. Then you need, um... Like five dozen of six by six rings. That is for parapet as well for beam or parapet. You'll be needing um, six by six rings, which is sold at 400 as well. Then binding wire, I've said that before. You also be needing cardboard. Apply, there's, there's a way they call it. This board is for, is for parapet. You'll be needing it so that 5,000. So you'll be needing like, um, like five or four. So, um, what is what they have called nails three inches nail, two and a half nail, one inch nail, one and half nails will be needed as well. Then for roofing, roofing you will need two by six plank, like ten length, which is one five by one, three by four, like twenty length, which is one two by one, two by four, you'll be needing like one hundred and eighty length, which is one thousand naira. Two by three, I've called it before together with the one the earlier stage plank, which I say three hundred. Two by two, you'll be needing like 150, which is sort of four, 500. Then nails, I've called them before as well. Bamboo, you'll be needing bamboo as well for the reinforcement and brazing of uh, the edges of the top. Uh, as in, of the top, I'm talking about parapet. You'll be needing uh, bamboo in parapet, just little. You'll be needing little bamboo for reinforcing. In parapet so that is that then coming to milano 
can see this building is carrying Milano, so I estimated with Milano. Milano, this building you'll be looking at um, 300 to 350 square meter. You know, just as I said, it might be lesser depending on the size of your building, please. It might just be 200 square meter, 250, so it depends on the size of your building. But let's, let's go for 350 to avoid your underestimation, you know. I hope I'm right with this English show. So uh, you all know that uh, Milano, please, this Milano pricing is Lagos price. I didn't get this from ABBA. So I didn't use ABBA price. It's Lagos price. Take note, please. And you saw that 3, 3, uh, 2300 we'll be looking at 100 meter ridge cap so that's one two 30 meter valley cutter so that's 1000 then uh, three pack of nails so that's 6500 and two set of kits so that 5000 per each then installation um at 200 we all know this is lagos price please take notes so when you calculate Roofing, you should be looking at a million point five or more or less. Yes, or more or less. Then uh, um, from foundation to to parapet, you should be looking at. Okay, roofing. This roofing, I said one point five. Is for Milano cost of Milano with their installation. I did not include woodwork. If you include woodwork, it's let's just say two million for roofing, everything two million. No workmanship. Oh, I did not include workmanship. Please take notes. I did not include workmanship. So, without workmanship, wood and um, Milano is like two million. Then, um um for others totals like um like four points let's just say 4.5 so everything please remember i did not include electrical and plumbing i did not include electrical money i did not include plumbing money i did not include revenue money i did not include borehole water i did not include water on it and i did not include workmanship take notes I did not include all these, but the ones I have got for you is uh is like uh, six point five million naira. It's like six point five million naira. So workmanship, I don't think it will be more than eight hundred thousand. Uh, it should don't be more than that. It should be less, or at most it's eight hundred k. So looking at all these. Let's just say that when you add up these ones, I did not add. When you add up these ones, I did not add. Oh, how much did that just go now? Okay, five, six, okay, six point five. So when you add it up, let's just say this will cost you um, seven million to seven point five. 6.5 plus oh sorry it will cost you 7.5 to 8 million naira yes this is what that's that is if you add up the electrical the plumbing the workmanship the every every you should be looking at at most 7.5 million naira for this building remember plastering has been added plastering has been added so take note of that if we add up at most you should be looking at 7.5 to 8 million naira 7 point at most 8 million naira that is <laughs> that is it guys please if you didn't enjoy this video let me know so that i can redo it i just have to do this now even i'm packing i'm packing on the way because i noticed that my mind wasn't fully on it I had to concentrate where I'm driving and all that. So that is why. Please, my brother, I hope this will help you go a long way. And my sister from Cameroon, I hope this will help you also. And if you are not satisfied with it, please 
say it drop it in the comment section so that i can do something about it thank you for watching guys thank you so much thank you so much i really appreciate please don't forget to share my video don't forget to share my video for me that is why i keep begging you people help me to share my video with your friends and well we should know your social media page uh -huh. support me with that please and if you want to support me in another way like as you guys have been doing please shut me up thank you so much i really appreciate you one and only girl bye